Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxys3.com. After installing Cyanogen Mod on our Sprint version of the Galaxy S3, I got pretty anxious to go ahead and do it with Verizon. Of course, the Verizon version ships with a lock bootloader, so we're going to have to uh, satisfy that and unlock it. Um, the device is already rooted, of course, with a custom recovery. So when those three things align, pretty much you'll be able to use an AOSP uh, ROM like Cyanogen Mod. So let's go ahead and go into the Play Store. I'll search for VZWGS and then it'll pop up probably with the GS3 Easy Unlock parentheses bootloader application. You can see who made it right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click install. So with this you won't have to use a kegzek. Uh, kernel. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to allow super user permissions right there. And now we're going to click unlock. It asks you, are you sure you want to unlock your bootloader? Go, go ahead and click yes. And it says that was easy, and <laughs> yes, it definitely was. So pretty much our next video will probably be of installing Cyanogen Mod uh, 10 onto this. Uh, we'll also install G-Apps. We'll do a titanium backup so that I can come back to this working uh, configuration. This is the phone that I use uh, daily when I'm at work. So for more information about the U.S. versions of the Galaxy S3, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. After installing...